Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through how to install the latest release of KDE Neon. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot that disk, and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. If you're new and stopping by to watch a install today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more installs. I'm here on the KDE Neon website. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. What we want to do here is download the KDE Neon install image. So we're going to go to download KDE Neon at the top right, and then we'll be greeted by the page that has live images on it. So there's various images that we can select from. All of them are for 64-bit architecture, as you can see right here in this little bubble. And we'll go through these real quick. So on the left-hand side is the official stable version of KDE Neon, the user edition, and then you have the testing edition, which is currently the pre-release or rolling release model of KDE Neon. Below you also have an unstable edition as well as a developer edition if you want to explore those. But the one we want is the user edition and we're gonna go ahead and select this button here and that will launch the download. And now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch the Belena Etcher app in order to flash the image onto a USB, CD, or DVD. So I'm gonna go ahead and just launch Belena by typing it in and pressing enter. Give it a few moments to start up. Belena Etcher is an easy to use application available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk. So let's go ahead and select the image that we just got done downloading. So we select image and then Neon User 2020-03-12. So this was released today and is the KDE Neon User Edition. Let's go ahead and select that and hit open. Next, you'll want to go ahead and put your USB CD or DVD that you want to flash KDE Neon's installer onto. And if you have multiple USB CDs or DVDs in your computer, you're going to want to hit the change button and then select the proper USB DVD or CD in the list if you have multiple ones. Make sure you do select the proper one because anything and everything on the disk will be erased in order to put the installer on to it. So make sure you have no data on the disk before continuing. And once you verify that and select the proper device, you'll go ahead and hit continue. And once you're ready, you'll go ahead and hit the flash button and give it administrative privileges in order to run the flash process. After you flash the disk, you'll take it over to the computer or server where you want to install KDE Neon on and then insert it. Then you'll have to boot into your BIOS in order to change the settings around and select the newly created bootable disk to boot first. This is usually done by finding the correct key in order to boot into your BIOS for your particular computer. It's usually one of the F keys like F2 or F10. Then you'll find a tab usually called boot order and then you'll exchange the order so that the bootable disk is first to boot. After you have that set up, you will save and exit out of your BIOS and you should see a screen similar to this if you did everything correctly. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. All right, and if you see the screen, you've successfully made it to the install portion, at least for a UEFI BIOS computer. If you don't see the screen, if you and you've already booted into the live image of KDE Neon, meaning the desktop environment, uh, give us a few moments here while we start KDE Neon. Let's go ahead and choose that option, and then we should load up the desktop environment here in just a moment. Now that we have the desktop environment here in front of us, we are in the live image of KDE Neon. Let's go ahead and click the upper left hand corner icon that says install Neon user. So we can install KDE Neon. Give it a moment here to launch. And once it launches here, I'm gonna make it a little bigger for us to see. We're welcomed by the installer and it asks us to go ahead and choose a language for the install process. So English is fine for me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Next we're asked to go ahead and choose a keyboard. You can go ahead and scroll through the various different layouts and variants and then see what the keyboard layout looks like and see if it matches the keyboard in front of you. If it does, go ahead and hit continue. English works for me. Next, we're asked about if we want to download all the updates while installing Neon. And I don't want to because uh, I'll be installing the updates after the installation, but it says here that it will save you time after the installation if you do select it. So you can select this if you want. The next option here allows you to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. So sometimes you need drivers that might be proprietary, such as for NVIDIA. 
and or certain Wi-Fi adapter cards. If you're uncertain, it might be best to go ahead and install them, but I know I don't need them for my computer, so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the box and hit continue. Following that, we're asked how we want to install Neon, and we're given a few options here. We can use the guided entire disk method, or we could set up an LVM that's encrypted. So the encrypted LVM is set up as a logical volume management partition that's encrypted, meaning you'll have to put in a password every time you log in, as well as your username and your password to get into the system as well. So that's just a le extra level of security for you if you wanna use that. And then you have the entire disk set up with it, just an LVM. This allows for you to change storage space up a little easier later down the road or extend your storage space and volumes that you have on that storage space. Otherwise, you can just use the standard guided method and the entire disk. Otherwise, if you want a different partitioning scheme, you can go ahead and hit the manual and set it. You'll want to make sure that you go through this drop down and, and select whatever storage space you want to install KDE Neon on. Make sure you select the proper hard disk or storage space because once we begin installing KDE Neon, it will erase everything on that current storage space. So you'll really want to make sure that you've selected the proper storage space if you have multiple ones or the one that's currently selected by default is one that you don't have any data on before hitting the install now button. Since I know I don't have anything on this current uh, storage space of mine, I'll go ahead and hit the install now button. Next, I'm just warned one more time that if we go ahead and hit continue, all the changes will be written to the disk and you'll be erasing all the data off of it. I'm confident that I wanna go ahead and do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. At this point, the system is partitioning the disks down below and now we get to select a time zone. I'll go ahead and be in Europe today and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the continue. You can also select different time zones, of course, either by clicking the map or selecting a region and then a time zone individually. Once you've selected your time zone, go ahead and hit continue. Here I'll go ahead and put in a username. Savvy Nick works for me. So Savvy Nick is gonna be my name as well as my username. And then I'm gonna put a password in and confirm that password for the user Savvy Nick. And then my computer's name, so this is what other devices on your network will see, will be Savvy Nick as well. And you can either log in automatically in which a user could just restart your computer and automatically be logged in. So I don't suggest using this option or you can require my password to log in, which you'll have to put your password in every time you log in. Next, I'll go ahead and hit continue and the installer will finish up what it's doing right now. KDE Neon is based off of Ubuntu and focuses on creating products that give their users full control and privacy when using their own computer. They also deploy polished user experience and include the latest KDE software as it's being released to the public. They also work on promoting free and open source software to the world and continuing to move up the ranks since it's been deployed in 2017. If you're a fan of KDE, this is a great place to be. All right, and after the installation is complete, you'll get a message here in which you can go ahead and restart the computer now. And while restarting, you'll wanna make sure to go ahead and remove any installation media that you may have. So any of those CDs, DVDs, or USBs that you put in your computer. So you don't boot back into the live image of the system, or you'll have to go ahead and remove that media and reboot once more in order to get to your newly installed system. We'll go ahead and hit restart now. Give it a few moments here to load. And we'll get this nice message right here where it tells us to go ahead and remove our installation media and then press enter. So go ahead and remove your USB CD or DVD at this point and go ahead and press enter once you've done so. Let the system reboot. And once things are rebooted, you'll be welcomed by your user on the greeter screen here. So let's go ahead and type in our password that we created for our user and press enter to log in. And it'll take a moment to load our desktop environment. And here we are. Welcome to your new KD Neon desktop. Congratulations if you made it this far. You've successfully installed KD Neon. 
Let's go ahead and go through the desktop environment real quick. Just a few things here. On the bottom left hand corner, we have the application launcher. And once you can see the current user and the edition of KDE Neon. So it says it's the user edition 5.18. You can also search for items on the system in the search bar as well as click on the user to manage the user account that's currently logged in. If we go back, you can also get to some pre-installed favorites here, discover their software center, Dolphin their file manager, the system settings, and their default web browser, Firefox. You can also go between applications, computer, history, to shut down, restart the computer, and some other options as well. History is gonna show you whatever recent applications you've had opened. Computer will show you subcategories of the computer and the current user. And then applications are just subcategories of all the applications currently installed on the computer. Let's go ahead and look at the taskbar on the right hand side. We have volume control, which applies to your microphone as well as output and applications if you wanna select between applications and control their volume as well. You also have the current wired or wireless connection and the status and notifications bar where you can control things such as the clipboard access KD connect and view all sorts of notifications coming from different applications. Then you have the current date and time. If you click on it, you'll get a calendar, which you can scroll through. And then on the far right hand side, you can right click and then, and then minimize all windows as well as add widgets or panels to the desktop environment. That's really it here. You can add files and folders to the background of this desktop environment. So if we just created a new folder, and hit OK, you can see that you can get a new folder and drag it around the desktop here. Some distributions don't allow you to do this, but uh, the KDE Neon allows you since they use KDE to run their desktop environment. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installation tutorial of KDE Neon. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them below in the comments section. Also, make sure to go ahead and subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.